Okay, this is uh, Dan with uh, Hoverfly Technologies, and I wanted to uh, just show a couple things about uh, some of the settings on the uh, gimbal configuration. I have a uh, Cinestar gimbal hooked up here. I've got my camera mounted on it, and right now I've got this one tuned uh, pretty, pretty well um, for the uh, response. And what I'm looking at right now is the acceleration rate gain, and when it's well tuned, the camera. Uh, responds very well both with the kind of the slower longer motions as well as some of the uh, the faster motions now of course I could take the gimbal and I can move it faster than the servos can possibly keep up but it's doing a decent job of trying and it can keep up at a, a pretty good speed some people have seen an effect where either their camera lags behind or in when it's near center, it seems to move back and forth a bit too much. What I'm going to do right now, if I can do this one-handed, is uh, reach over and I'm going to turn the acceleration rate gain down. On this particular one, I had it set to um, 600. I've now set it down to 100. And what you'll see is, as I move it, the camera will lag behind and take a while to get there. You don't see it so much with the uh, slower motions, of course, but when you do a faster motion, you definitely see a lot of lag in the camera's motion. Likewise, if I was to crank up the acceleration rate gain to a value that's too high for the, uh, for the camera, in this case I've gone up to um, 1000 on here, what you'll see is when I move it slow, you don't notice too much difference. There may be a little bit of jitteriness um, when you move it real slow, but if I kind of go back and forth around center, or even with bigger motions, you'll see the camera definitely overshoots and comes back to its uh, the proper spot eventually uh, after you let it sit there for a while. But sometimes when you're, if your acceleration rate gain is too high and you are um, moving kind of near the center point, one of the things you'll see is this effect where the camera sort of keeps overshooting its spot and never really staying uh, all that steady. So again, if we go back down to the correct gain on this, which, like I said, on this camera is 600, but you kind of have to dial this in for your own system. At, at this spot, we get a good balance of um, responding well to both the, the kind of larger slow motions, the smaller slow motions, the smaller fast motions, and even the, uh, the large fast motions.